Dr. Pat with Little Critters and we're back with Remy today. Remy's a little bit of an interesting case. So she's in for just a biannual and a checkup. But one of the things that we're finding currently in Arizona is we just had a lot of rain. Apparently two monsoons came through Arizona, not something I thought I would ever say. And we had what for us was a very significant amount of rain over several days. And so we've had more reports of owners finding mold in their home, which generally we never encounter in the desert. And Remy is one of those. And the owner is a very astute owner. She's in the veterinary field and she found mold in the air conditioner ducts. And so she brought her in for a checkup to make sure that she hasn't been affected. She has no respiratory signs, no clinical signs. But just an important point, particularly if you live in the South or in areas where we see much more mold prevalence, birds are highly sensitive to mold. They can get into their air sacs. They have a very unique respiratory system. So they have lungs that are not inflatable and they have a little ostium that then goes into air sacs, which I describe as little cellophane baggies all throughout their body where they provide gas exchange and mold can settle into these areas and it can be very toxic and a huge problem for birds. So it's very important to make sure that you don't have a mold problem for your safety and definitely for the bird safety in the house. More commonly in Arizona, we'll see mold like aspergillus due to dirty litter trays under the cage. So if you have birds, keeping those cage bottoms clean and dry is very important. I've seen a lot of people use the little corn bedding and that does grow a lot of mold. So I generally discourage using that. I just have people use newspapers and then clean them up every single day. So we don't have moisture or any fungal contaminants.